What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a game called Farming Simulator 19 which you may or may not have heard of. There is a new one coming out soon so I thought this would be a great time to jump in and have a look and see what this game has to offer just in case you're thinking about taking a look. So this is the premium edition of the game so it does come with a couple of extra DLC packs and what we'll do today is we're just going to jump straight into uh, career mode and we'll get started with a new save game. Now, there is a couple of different options that you can to start off your game. And um, we're going to start with New Farmer just because that'll take us through the tutorial. Um, although I would probably, I, I, if I was going to play this game, I'd probably play on Farm Manager. Just start off with some funds, no buildings, no equipment, and just start from there. Um, start from scratch is a lot harder. Uh, your starting capital is very limited. You don't own any land or equipment to start off with. Uh, the economy is tough, prices are lower. As it explains there, the game, uh, gameplay elements are on the most realistic setting. So that could be fun for some people. I can see how that, that could be attractive. But for us today, just to start off this video, to give you an introduction, we're going to go with New Farmer. And we're going to start off on the basic um, map, which is Ravenport. Although um, I believe on the standard edition as well, I could be wrong in this, but there's, there is two other maps available. I know that Feldsbrunn is available as i've played on that map before and this one looks um particularly elegant there but we'll start off with ravenport and we'll just jump in so our character's pretty much i mean there's not a great deal of customization to be fair there's a couple of different things that you can switch around with i'm just going to go with the sort of standard thing i'm um, happy enough with that i'm not going to put a hat on and the jackets is really only this sort of leather vest which if you want to wear that Go ahead, it's either a case of sunglasses or no sunglasses for the accessory. And colour wise, um, let's go with purple. But as I said, there's a number of different options available here in terms of DLCs that you can have active. I particularly would like to take a look at this Fiat van. Uh, the Fiat 682 looks particularly cool when you see that. But yeah, a lot of these I haven't tried out yet, but it literally comes down to equipment packs and a bunch of basically um, content that they've got licenses for with a bunch of different companies providing equipment which is quite cool really all of the equipment's licensed all of the vehicles are licensed it's a pretty excellent approach to be fair but anyway we'll get started so this should give you an idea of how, how long this takes to load we are playing on the series x today so you know i will say it's not optimized in any way for either mid-gen or next-gen consoles as far as I can tell I mean you'll see what I mean when we get started the graphics aren't particularly bad but yeah let's get into this so we press A here um, welcome to Farming Simulator would you like to start a guided a short guided tut tour I was going to say tutorial there um, and that's exactly what we're going to do so this just shows the basics of the game so let's get started with yes there so we can toggle the map view by yeah basically switching as it says um, unfortunately we can't do that while this screen's on so let's get rid of this okay so generally speaking as I say I mean the graphics are nice I mean look at that let's have a look around I mean I don't know whether we've just come out with this hut by the looks of things but if we were to just take a walk around I mean you know it's kind of like being in Skyrim in some ways in some ways I mean don't take that literally but yeah, I mean, if you look at this building, the details there. I quite like it. I mean, I like the way things have got their own design. Um, everything's kind of un uniquely modelled. This well is particularly nice. And this vehicle here just sort of dumped. I mean, it's all different. It's things, that, you know, the developers put in there just to give a bit of detail. And just wandering around here is just uh, a nice sort of venture in itself. Um you can play with inverted con uh, Y axis, which is exactly what I've done. And let's take a look at that map. So literally pulling down on the LB button and pressing the uh, down on the L stick just makes that map a bit bigger. So you can see where we want to be. Um, if we go in here and then if we go along, oh no, that's just a shop, sorry. Let's see how we can do this. I think if we do, yeah, there we go. So with the actual menu button instead, we can bring up the map and then we can move down. There's all sorts of different filters that we can use and see different things, but 
We'll get into that in another time. At the moment, we're literally going to run through the tutorial. So as you can see, we're up here. Um, our farm is here. And that's where we're going to head right now and get started with these tutorial items. So, yeah, guys, I mean, I quite like the graphics. As I say, it's not optimized. Um, you know, the resolution, I wouldn't like to guess what it is. I would say 1080p, I guess, but... I would say it potentially runs at around about 30 frames per second. I don't think it's 60. I can't see it being 60. I mean, I could be wrong. I just know that, you know, it's not as bad as some sims in terms of the optimization, but it doesn't look as smooth, um, especially when you get started with vehicles and stuff like that, as some other games. But this little stream here is nice. Um... The water effect there as it goes all the way down. It's the sounds and things like that as well. I mean, it's, it does feel that like atmospheric. Nice little bit of countryside. I'm not too sure which country we're in. I'd a guess, I would guess a European country, potentially somewhere like Germany, but um, it kind of looks a little bit on the British side of things to me as well, which is, you know... So welcome, but we do we do drive on the on the right hand side, so we can make a bit of a run for it as well here by holding down the um, R2 button. So we're going to approach this marker and see what's got to say. So guided tour. This is one of the fields you own from the very start. Its wheat has conveniently grown to a stage where it can be harvested. Time for you to enter this combine harvester and get started. So we'll press OK there. And we will climb in by pressing X. Nice engine noise. Okay, attach the harvester head that's sitting right in front of it. Uh, the help panel in the top left corner always shows the functions that are available. So, engine's nice and loud in my ears. So as you can see, guys, this is a New Holland Combine Harvester and it's been nicely modelled. I'll tell you what I do just to show you reverse a tiny bit so there we go now in order to connect to this header we're just going to move forward without smashing into it and when we get close enough we're going to press A so that's now attached nicely there so what we're going to do now is um, just follow these instructions that just told us so we can unfold or unfold the tool we can turn the tool on and off and we can switch the tool selection there so what that means is sometimes especially with a tractor if you've got something on the front and back and they have two tools on and switch between them and select different functions in that regard for this one we've only got one tool right at the front so it makes it a little bit easier so what we're going to do is just unfold the harvester and we can then um, so you can lower or raise the harvester now that's generally good if you want to um, you know disengage the uh, the header in this case we're just gonna turn on the header like so it just tells us now we can accelerate and decelerate and steer so basically all we're going to do is just drive forward and as you can see it starts to cut the weed down and then we're just going to drive into the marker it tells us here so far so good usually however you have a lot to do so it makes sense to hire helpers on your farm whenever a job can be executed by a helper it will be indicated by the top left panel hire a helper to take care of the rest of the field so that's fine i'll just reverse a tiny bit just to make sure we don't miss anything but literally all you need to do now is just press b and the worker gets to work so the helper will now take care of this job until they are done or the grain tank of the harvester is full you can now take care of other business, exit the harvester and walk to the next question mark symbol indicated on the map. So literally what we're going to do is just press X to jump out. And the worker's in there, working away, hopefully getting a nice wage for doing that for us. So we're going to walk over now to the next marker. And let's see what the next step's going to be in this tutorial. So, as we approach this it says, uh, fields that have been harvested need to be cultivated before they can be sown anew. This field has been harvested recently and now needs someone to cultivate it. Enter the tractor and attach the cultivator that's placed behind it. So all we need to do is just walk up to the tractor, jump aboard, and we're going to attach 
not only the cultivator by reversing and attaching like so we're going to put the weight on the front as well like so so now we can load the cultivator and drive all the, over the field to cultivate its soil so as i said about switching tools you can press y and as you can see there's a front and back to the tractor if we go to the front we can lower the weight which helps with a little bit of stability so that one's down now and i believe that's the right way to do it um i'll check on that actually as to whether that weight is best up or down i would guess down as it did start in the up position as a default now i'll switch to the back tool by pressing y again and then once again hold down lb and we will um um so i think that cultivator is already yeah it was already unfolded like so because the wheels are down uh, sorry not the wheels the um sort of discs that cultivate the ground were already down so what we can do is just lower the cultivator like so um actually the best way to do this is to move forward and when we get to the edge of the field to lower it there we go and then we can just go forward and that'll cultivate slash plow the ground like that so once again that's enough for now you can finish the field later if you want or hire another we're helper to finish the job so let's go ahead and do that also um, you can switch to other vehicles it says here ah there we go so that's possible on the d-pad so what we'll do is firstly um, just read this and then I'll go back to that other vehicle so basically fields that have been cultivated are ready to be sown for this you need to use a sewing machine get back in the tractor and attach the sewing machine which is placed behind it so what we'll do is we'll just go back to this one first and I will hire a worker there get him to crack on with um, her should I say to get on with ploughing slash cultivating this field and we'll switch to our other tractor over here and we'll attach our cedar now you can switch, um, let's have a look, see what it says here, so you can select the seed basically, it's currently on wheat there, you can switch through barley, uh, oat, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, grass, and back to wheat. So we'll stick with wheat for now, so we'll just pull up here, now there's a couple of different options that we can do, so we can lower the, so uh, lower the sower, which is what we'll do, and then we'll turn on the sower with X. And that one's ready to go so literally now as we drive along we are sowing seed into the ground which will grow in time and once again um, once we i'll tell you what we'll do we'll just hire a worker for this one as well so once again almost going there and just started to take over and we'll press x to get out now let's go and see what's going on here guys with the rest of our fields Okay, so we've got this one being sowed. We've got this one, which is being cultivated. Um, this one, which is quite nicely being harvested. And I think our next step really is going to be to, um, you know, empty that harvester. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't given us another marker. Have we missed one? I don't think we've missed one. I think we're just waiting a little bit now. Um, let's double check on the map. Yeah, I think we're waiting a little bit. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go back and jump in this sower. Um, sorry, not so harvester, sorry. Let's jump in now. There we go. We'll take over. We'll dismiss that worker by pressing B. And let's get on and do some more harvesting here. As you can see already, there's quite a lot of soil on these wheels. You can clean your vehicles, actually, by using a, a jet washer. What we'll do is we'll just reverse up here. Line this thing up. Reverse a bit more. And turn the harvester on. Now, you can also use a first-person view like this to drive any vehicles with just a click down on the right stick and as you can see we're doing a fairly decent job of harvesting here now going back to my um uh lawn lawn uh what's it called now going back to my lawn mowing simulator video as you can see 
Um, we're quitting this, um, this quitting, quitting this crop down, and in a lot of ways, that's similar to what we do with Lawn Mowing Simulator. Um, I don't know whether you want to go back and watch that video, but literally, um, it's the same thing altogether. You are literally just driving over something and cutting it. And that's very similar in my eyes. That's why I made the comparison at the time. And this is obviously on a much grander scale. Um, although I'd, I am I am fond of them, Lawn Wing Simulator, to be fair. Now, the new version of this game is coming out soon, and it will be better optimised for um, next gen. Can't wait to see the graphics, to be fair, when it's actually up and running with the full game, as the trailers do look very nice. Um, but generally speaking, this game is very, it can be very in depth or it can be you know fairly shallow it depends how you want to play it it is one of those games which literally it's about your imagination it's about what you want to do with your farm you know you can buy fields and there's a number of different options things that you can grow um, and you will need different tools in order to um, grow and maintain and also um, harvest those crops now as you go on you need to buy that equipment and also you can upgrade it fix it i think it, i think you can fix it anyway um, now as you go on you can upgrade that equipment and get better vehicles uh, for example you might want to get um, a harvester with a bigger header and more power and better tractors to pull uh, more heavy equipment and that's that's the fun of this game so making money in order to buy better equipment, to buy more fields, to harvest more and more and literally going around as well and finding the best place to sell to is another great part of it as well um, so yeah guys, I mean as I say, it can be as in-depth or as uh, shallow as what you want I mean literally you could hire um, workers to do every part of the job if you wanted to but that's just part of it, I mean we will be taking a trip to the um, to drop off some of our uh, produce as well in a moment. But for now, um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just reverse this back into place. We'll hire a worker just to finish this one off. Our tutorial seems to have ended, which is abrupt to be honest with you, because it shouldn't have ended just yet. But let's send that worker on their way. Now, we'll go over here and get ready with our truck. I don't think I'm missing a tutorial marker. I feel like I'm missing something, that's for sure. Anyway, let's go over to this tractor. So as you can see, this is uh, probably the smallest tractor that you can get in this game. It's got the smallest engine. And there's a trailer here as well attached. Um, well, it's not attached yet, sorry. We'll attach it now. So let's reverse this thing up. We can zoom out a little bit as well by on the D-pad by using uh, back. So let's attach up and let's drive over to this harvester now you can either harvest um, as you you can empty as you harvest or you can harvest after you've filled the thing I'll show you what I mean hopefully this worker will get in a good place here so you can harvest by literally driving alongside now this can be great for on multiplayer especially um, so it's literally a case of matching speed with the, the harvester. Um, there we go. So once you're in the right place, it just sort of automatically starts spewing out like that. And it's a, it's a case of maintaining the right speed, although you can use um, a cruise control as well and set the speed. So as you can see there, we were doing about six miles per hour with this one. And it looks like that harvest has actually finished the job there, so we can literally just fill up now. There we go. So that's a, that's a good job done, in my opinion. We'll just pull around here. And I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just stop there for a sec. Now what I'll do is I'll just take this harvester actually and just store this. Um, after we've folded it away um, just trying to see the uh, control there there we go, we'll put the pipe in um, and we just 
pushed out the excess there of that um, I can't remember what it's called now let's have a look swath is that how you pronounce it? swath? I'm not too sure anyway regardless you can switch that off and literally you can go and pick up that straw as well and you can sell that um, if you use a baler We'll take a look at that in the upcoming video actually once we've, once we've moved on from this particular um, tutorial. So we'll reverse our harvester in here as so. So that's all sorted. There we go. It looks nice. Nice, nice modelling, nice design. Right guys, what we'll do is we'll just run over here. Um, and while those two are finishing up, we'll go ahead and we'll take this... Um, Take this produce, this wheat, to somewhere we can sell it. As I say, usually it does give you um, instructions on where to go for this. Now, I'm surprised it hasn't, to be honest with you. But what we'll do is, um, I think this could be a good one. Um, let's have a look. Right there, guys. So you can tell from this screen exactly where we can sell the wheat. So... In particular, it's um, either the Central Grain Elevator, Port Grain Elevator, Ranch or Restaurant. In this case, we're going to take it to the restaurant. So we're going to go along here. Um, I think I can place a marker, although it's not allowing me to do that right now. Anyway, what we'll do is we just know that literally it's in the opposite direction of what we're facing. So we're going to follow this road along. We're going to come in here and that's where we're going to sell our grain. So let's get this thing turned around. And we'll head over here, actually, and just follow this road. So, yeah, I mean, we'll switch to an inside view as well, just to give you an idea. So, quite like this cockpit view. Not entirely too sure if steering wheels are supported. I would imagine they are. I mean, it would be ridiculous to me to think that they're not, but I am pretty sure they are. Um, but literally, guys, I mean, this is what you get. This is the uh, simulation experience, as you can see. We're pulling along this trailer. And yeah, I mean, this is to me, this is an enjoyable game, especially when you get set up with your own farm. And literally, I mean, we're just going along this road. As you can see, I don't don't particularly like this using this tractor. It just doesn't have a lot of speed. It doesn't have a lot of power. Um, 15 mile per hour is about the, the top speed with this trailer on the back. Although we might find that it's a little bit faster once we've dropped off this load. But I mean. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of vehicles. As you can look around here, you can see uh, the detail. I mean, it is nicely done. There's different scenes that you can see as you drive around. We've passed a number of different things already, but I mean, even these houses are in this looks like a church building there. Um, what is it? Traditional. Um, so traditional spinnery I'm not entirely too sure what they do there but I'd imagine that it's something to do with wool because it does say cosy wool so that could be a place where you, we drop off cotton for example um, but yeah we're just going to crack on and head towards this restaurant um, so there's other fields here now some of these fields are owned by AI players in multiplayer I imagine that there might be a bunch of players together. I haven't tried a multiplayer, to be honest with you. It's probably something that I should give a go, but it's really a shame that you can't play a multiplayer split screen on this game because I think it could be a lot of fun without the need to sort of have to have two consoles and two screens all set up. I mean, it's the type of game that I'd love to play with my son, to be fair, but, you know, he could, he could easily play on his, his Xbox, but having two screens set up and then connecting up. Also, two copies of the game would be required as well, which is another one. Um, but, okay, we're here anyway, guys. We're at the restaurant, so what we're going to do is just pull up on here. We're going to stop, and then what we do is we just hold down RB and press Y to empty the trailer. As you can see, our money is increasing there as we sell our, our crop as we sell our produce. So that's all in there. Trailer's lowering back down. And that's nicely sold off. So 2,730 pounds there we made for the, that particular drop off. So I'm really happy with that one, guys. 
so this is it for this one guys I mean that's the tutorial although it did you know it, it sort of left us to our own devices part way through it's not, it doesn't normally do that to be fair but what we'll do is we'll crack on with a different farm next time we'll set up our own farm and take a look at that I just want to say thanks so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed it today please do leave me a like if you played this game if you've got any tips any comments please do let me know in the comment section I want to say thanks so much for coming through today guys and I'll catch you again soon.